Yesterday, uh, you had a rare opportunity to talk with Bill O'Brien, the Alabama offensive coordinator, and you guys obviously asked the question everybody wanted to know, and 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 Bill danced around it, and he had to. I get that. I'm not I'm not criticizing Bill O'Brien, but from what you've heard, from what you know, and from what he said, uh, you would still feel like he is not the offensive coordinator in Tuscaloosa next year. Yeah, I I would be shocked wouldn't even be the word. Um, I just don't think it's a it's um it's doable um unless you know circumstances circumstances change dramatically look bill o'brien first off you need to understand and i think fans i think they do care but they don't care about it when it's their team bill o'brien's a good person like he's will really well liked inside that athletic department um that's the first thing but secondly and you guys understand this and i understand this when you have a forward-facing performative job to the public um you're going to face scrutiny it's not like uh, I'm a salesman and I didn't meet my sales quota that we're only my boss knows. Everyone knows when you, if I write a bad article, everyone knows you guys have a bad show. You hear about it. Everyone knows it's the same thing with an offensive coordinator. Are there reasons that Alabama's offense has been stagnated? Yeah, absolutely. He did not have the wide receiving core that Mike Loxley had that Steve Sarkeesian had. He had maybe one of the worst offensive lines of the Nick Saban era in 2021. Won him an SEC title, got him to the national championship game. He produced a Heisman Trophy winner. This year, had a better offensive line. Wide receiving core was a massive disappointment. There are reasons why the offense hasn't played well. That said, it's still an offense comprised of four and five-star guys. You got a Heisman Trophy winner at quarterback. You're expected to deliver. And the fact is, I looked it up. In in the last five years, the 10 worst offensive outputs in terms of total yards, for eight of those, uh, Bill O'Brien has been the offensive coordinator. So. Mm. There's a reason the fans feel the way they do about him. And I understand that. I, I will also point out that uh, every time Bill, o, Bill O'Brien's unit left the field or Bryce Young's unit left the field this year, they left with the lead, and twice they did not go to the locker room with the lead. So on the defensive side, are you hearing anything about Pete Golding or the defensive side making a switch? Man, I, I, I've been hearing it all year, you know, that, that Pete sort of wants out, obviously – um, you know, the fans would, would like to see some new blood in there. That's less definitive to me. Uh, either way, I wouldn't really be surprised. Um, you, you hear rumors that he's coming back. You hear rumors that after the Iron Bowl, he was sort of uh, let it be known that he wants out. So it, it's gone back and forth. I still expect just for some new blood um, that both the coordinators will change. I, I really expect it offensively, but I wouldn't be surprised either way if Pete's gone or or he comes back next year.